Hi Libra, welcome to your weekly reading, May 31st to June 6th, 2019. All right, let's take a look at what you guys are doing this week. So your first card in the what is the 10 of coins in reverse. This means an opportunity has come up and you have to act fast to take advantage of it. It might be a little scary, you might be afraid of the unknown. Um, it might mean that you're it might mean that you have to let go of something that you don't want to. This can also mean that you're feeling homesick and you're in unknown territory. In the how, you have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. This is someone being a very good partner, um, being very supportive, someone who's caring, understanding, sympathetic. This can also mean a spiritual awakening. Um, I'm getting the feeling that this is someone who's in love. Maybe that's you, or this could be you. Um, this is the Knight of Swords in reverse in the Y. And this is someone um, someone being careless with their words. They might be blunt, opinionated. They could even be fanatical about something. Extreme words, cutting words. This could be an air sign. So it could be um, Gemini, um, you, Libra, or Aquarius. In how you're gonna feel, you have the strength and the upright. So you're feeling really brave, um, popular, like you're making some really good progress in something. Um, whatever this is, this opportunity or um, something that you're taking a chance on, you feel like you can do it. Like you feel like you, you've got this, you, you're in control. You're, you're fully up to this challenge. Maybe someone else doesn't like it. Maybe someone doesn't think you should do this. You're looking away from this person. They're looking at um, someone being a very good partner. Maybe they want you to be at home or something like that. They're not happy about this opportunity. I think they want you to be closer to them, something like that, but you're going to do it and you feel like you can do it. It could have something to do with houses as well. Could be a job. It's definitely about money. In your advice, you have the nine of wands in the reverse. This is about, um, I think of this card as um, your cross to bear, someone's cross to bear. Um, something embarrassing. It could be about, uh, it could be a physical difficulty. This can also be about cruelty and being very self-detached. Also extreme egotistical behavior. I don't know if that's connected to this guy and the cutting words. Someone is being very understanding and someone is being very careless with their words. Um, in Sorry, at the bottom of the deck, you have the chariot in the upright. This is all about dissension. This is about tension in relationships. This is also about work success, fighting spirit. Maybe work success is causing problems with a relationship because this looks like a work thing. This looks like you are determined to do it and somebody's not happy about it. It's causing problems in the relationship. This is also about someone being stubborn, someone that has to win. It could be a, a boyfriend or a husband or something that isn't happy with, I wanna say independence, but that's more nine of coins. But this is taking a, taking a chance. Maybe they think it's too much of a chance. To, it's a bad gamble or something, but you feel great about it. Okay, in between or where these join, this is living through others. Um, I think this is living through others is creating problems. This is someone helping too much. Maybe it's helping this person too much, somebody that, um, someone is relying on someone's help too much. I think that's what it is. These, where these join, this is someone who wants to fight, but they also think they're, they think they're right. It's about attacking injustice, being direct, authoritative, 
this could just be the way they are but it's almost like they're pointing their sword at this work success card this is um, someone being ambitious as well going after what they want I'm trying to figure out what your advice is the um, chariot is looking away from this cross to bear it's almost like um, it's like it's not your cross to bear you have your own um, mission in your life and you're doing it so I think that's exactly what it means that um, see it for what it is and keep on your path that's what I have for you today, Libra. And your song was Bubblegum Bitch by Marina and the Diamonds. I love her. All right. I love you guys. I hope you have a good week. Bye.